Hello, and I hope you're doing okay. Now we're back talking a little photography today, and I wanted to talk about kind of an alarming trend I'm seeing on social media, on Facebook and stuff. You know, I'm like everybody else, but I'm in a bunch of different groups, and I'm always looking at photos and seeing if there's anything that can influence me or whatnot. Um, one thing I have been noticing, especially with a lot of these high-key photos and close-ups, that the people are not in focus. Uh, and especially noticeable with the eyes. And if you are a photographer that's shooting portraits and animals and anything that's alive that has an eye, the eye is the mirror to the soul, and you know this. Um, but I think a lot of people still do not know how to use their camera. There's no excuse. There is no second place for messing up on a, on like a portrait. Uh, if you cannot get the eyes in focus, you have no business taking the shot. You've got to learn how to use your camera. Uh, and just because you have a portrait lens, you know, like uh, here I got my 85 millimeter 1.8. Uh, if you have that 2.8, 1.8, 1.4 lens, it does not mean you have to use it at 2.8 or 1.8 or 1.4 all the time. Your first responsibility is getting the shot. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you understand getting the shot is really important. There is no second place for that either. So make sure, start out simple. You know, I do single point autofocus, you know, for almost everything, you know, my customer shoots. And sometimes I'm in continuous when I'm messing with wildlife and stuff. Um, but when you... When you're take, you have so much responsibility as a photographer to pull off what that model, what your customer or whatnot is trying to get. Uh, and if you're taking money, it's so important. Uh, you got to make the shot. And the, one of the first things you do is you learn exactly how to put that square on that eye. Tat, 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 tat. You know, because take, don't just go tap. Tag, tag. If it, it, you know, going right a tat tat a few shots off, and because if somebody blinks their eye or whatever, you know, or they move their head just a little bit, that can make a motion blur. Uh, so take, you know, get you some shots and look. If you're, uh, if you're 1.8 is not getting both eyes clear, go to 2.8. If you got a background behind you like me here and you're real close to the background, it's useless trying to shoot at 1.8. You know, go in and shoot at f4, f5.6, whatever. Shoot and get the detail. And then you know your your everything you're going to be in focus. Even if the head's turned, you know, if you're shooting at 1.8 and you got a clear eye here and, and this eye is out of focus, make the change. There is no second place. You got to do it. It's your responsibility as a photographer to control that. So anyhow, like I said, if you got a background behind you, it's no issue at all. You should be able to get everything in focus, no matter how the heads turn. Just because your lens has that 1.8 does not mean you have to use it. It has f16 on it probably too. Does not mean you have to use f16. So again. The eye is a mirror to the soul, and anything you shoot, get on it. Uh, one thing you can do, uh, you can practice with a puppy dog at home or something, you know, uh, and learn how to get the nose in focus. If you're shooting a, you know, if you're shooting a dog, make sure you get the nose in focus and the eyes in focus. Look at your settings. Shoot two people. Shoot two kids, one standing behind the other. Learn how your camera works. Learn how to use your camera. Um, a lot of times, you know, motion blur. Make sure your shutter speed is okay. You know, 
Uh, almost all my portraits outside walking around are F4, 160 uh, frames per second, and usually ISO 100 to 400. And most of the time outside I'm using auto ISO. Um, inside you have more controlled conditions and you can fine tune, you can dial it in. But the main concern that I've been seeing on the internet is people simply not knowing how to use their camera. They listen to too much crap on Facebook. Remember, most of those people on Facebook are wannabes also. You find somebody that you like their photos, you copy what they do, you can send them a message and ask them things. You know, Just like if you want to take financial advice, do you go to the trailer park and see Uncle Joe or do you go to the bank or a friend that you know has money and you ask them how to make money, see? So don't believe everything that you see on Facebook and people tell you. Most time they won't show their own pictures anyhow because they're too ashamed or afraid that they're going to get criticized. So they want to criticize your picture. Uh, but anyhow, uh, nice, clear eye shots are so important. And if you got some flash, you can get get up just you can get just on camera. I shoot a lot of times with just on camera flash at the lowest power and just get enough light on the subject that it looks natural and you get a little catch light in the eye. Makes things look so real. But anyhow, think about and keep working, 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 guys, on your eye shots. Make sure it's clear, no fuzz. And you look at the pictures on, on Facebook, for example, look how many of them that are really, really clear and how many of them are fuzzy. And there's a lot of fuzzy photos out there where the people still are learning how to use their camera. Okay? It's not a fashion gimmick to, have, to be out of phase. It's not a trend. It's simply, you know... You've got to know what you're doing, get the shot, and that way you also have less editing. If you take a bad picture, it's, you can't edit. It's hard to polish a turd. Take a good picture, when you get to the editor, it makes everything so much easier. Yeah, you have a good day, and I hope to see you soon. All right, so bye-bye.